Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Matthew 5 verse 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Luke 10 verses 33 to 34 But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Romans 12 verse 15 Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. Galatians 6 verse 2 Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Colossians 3 verse 12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Psalm 103 verse 13 As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Micah 6 verse 8 he has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. James 2 verse 13 Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Psalm 82 verses 3 to 4 Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. Proverbs 14 verse 21 It is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Isaiah 58 verse 10 And if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. Luke 6 verse 36 be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Zechariah 7 verse 9 This is what the Lord Almighty said, Administer true justice, show mercy and compassion to one another. Hebrews 13 verse 3 Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. 1 John 3 verse 17 If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Luke 6 verse 31 Do to others as you would have them do to you. 
1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive, encourage the disheartened, help the weak, be patient with everyone. Romans 15 verse 1. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Ephesians 4 verse 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. 1 Peter 3 verse 9 Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. Proverbs 21 verse 13 Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. Matthew 9 verse 36 When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Proverbs 22 verse 9 The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Isaiah 1 verse 17. Learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. Proverbs 31 verse 20. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. Psalm 72 verse 13. He will take pity on the weak and the needy and save the needy from death. Luke 7 verse 13 When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. Romans 12 verse 20 On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Isaiah 58 verse 7 Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked, to clothe them, and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Matthew 14 verse 14 When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Psalm 86 verse 15 But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Luke 15 verse 20 So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. James 1 verse 27 Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Luke 6 verse 35 but love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Proverbs 19 verse 22 What a person desires is unfailing love, better to be poor than a liar. Psalm 111 verse 4 He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. Zechariah 7 verse 10 Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the foreigner or the poor. Do not plot evil against each other. 
Psalm 34 verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Luke 15 verse 7. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. Psalm 112 verse 4. Even in darkness light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. Isaiah 63 verse 9. In all their distress, he too was distressed, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and mercy, he redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. Romans 9 verse 15. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. Proverbs 28 verse 27. Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. Psalm 25 verse 6. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. 2 Timothy 2 verses 24 to 25. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed, in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. Psalm 136 verse 26. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. Jude 1 verse 22. Be merciful to those who doubt. Psalm 69 verse 16. Answer me, Lord, out of the goodness of your love. In your great mercy turn to me. Luke 1 verse 50. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Psalm 86 verse 5. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Matthew 20 verse 34. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. Isaiah 30 verse 18. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. Colossians 3 verse 13. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Luke 19 verse 41. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it. Psalm 112 verse 5. Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, 
made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Matthew 15 verse 32 Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, or they may collapse on the way. Mark 6 verse 34 When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Psalm 78 verse 38 Yet he was merciful. He forgave their iniquities and did not destroy them. Time after time, he restrained his anger and did not stir up his full wrath. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Psalm 145 verse 8 The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Luke 7 verses 12 to 13. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. Psalm 9 verse 9 The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. 1 John 4 verse 7 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Romans 12 verse 10 Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Galatians 5 verse 13 you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. Psalm 10 verse 17 You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry. John 13 verse 34 A new command I give you love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Psalm 51 verse 1 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. James 2 verse 8 If you really keep the royal law found in Scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. John 15 verse 12 My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Matthew 5 verse 44 But I tell you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Psalm 41 verse 1 Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. James 2 verses 14 to 17 What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. 
If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Luke 10 verse 27 He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Psalm 103 verses 13 to 14 As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, he remembers that we are dust. Matthew 25 verses 35 to 36 For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat, I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. 1 John 4 verse 20 Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. Proverbs 14 verse 31 Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their Maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Proverbs 17 verse 5 Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their Maker, Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Luke 7 verse 34 The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you say, Here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Proverbs 31 verse 9 Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Psalm 34 verse 14 Turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. Psalm 119 verse 36 Turn my heart toward your statutes and not toward selfish gain. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. 1 John 3 verse 18 Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Matthew 10 verse 42 And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. Matthew 6 verse 3 But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Proverbs 3 verse 27 Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act.